Champ Robinson, Salinas, California, here with Steve Striffler, uh, director of Sherwood Tennis Center. And coming up tonight, Steve, there's a big uh, meeting from the Salinas City Council that could uh, see some renovation going on here at the Sherwood Tennis Center. Uh, go ahead and tell me what that is about and, and what you're hoping to see have passed tonight at this meeting. Well, we're real excited about this. We've been waiting for it for a while. The, um, the city's gone through some tough times with uh, budgets and uh, conditions that have led up to it, but uh, we want to sustain and build our programs back to the way they've been before with all of our courts in use. Uh, we've been doing an awful lot with uh, First Tee right now again for about the fifth year, Millennium School here in, at Sherwood Hall, um, Laurelwood School we just finished a program with, um, and PAL programs in the past um, with USTA we do a lot of leagues, adult leagues, uh, and as far as tournaments go, we have adult tournaments, junior tournaments. A little bit hampered at the moment having those those events here at the tennis center with only four courts in use and two courts really uh, tournament playable. Um, we are very much looking forward to the city's uh, uh, new budget that allocates money to fix this and bring us back. Yeah. How long of a process has it been for the tennis center to collaborate with the city of Salinas in order to get this on? Uh, the proposed budget? Well, it, it, I mean, we are, uh, this is a city park and rec uh, now under the library facility and been like that since it was its inception in 1976. I've been here since 1981 and we have had, a, had that partnership um, uh, go, in existence since that time. Um, we have done and been part of the community. We, we have been the facility in town that helps people enjoy and improve their tennis. And that's been something we've coined and used in our advertising and promotion. But uh, we pride ourselves in being able to get people involved in the game, to get, to get them instruction, to get them in support, practice programs, recreational play, lessons, uh, pro shop accessories from racket string to equipment, shoes, rackets, bags. But that's been a secondary part of our service. Our service has been primarily events and instruction and recreational play. Now, of course, with any facility like this, there's going to be its wear and tear over the years. When did you first start noticing that the wear and tear on these tennis courts here was something that needs to be addressed? I would actually say that's probably been about five years that, that it started and then it's, the problem has accelerated um, pretty much in the last two to, to three years to where courts became courts had to be closed down. And, but we wanted to keep our doors open to keep, our, to keep the public served and keep the events and, and activities uh, in line uh, with the, the time of the year and the events that are needed at that time because there are different cycles that occur um, in, the, in the city and in, of course weather with seasons. Uh, we're very fortunate to have the good weather that we do have. Um, we, we're in 12 months, uh, uh, 52 weeks a year, seven, uh, six days a week tennis facility um, we're open at nights for night play. We're, we've got a new PG&E retrofit that's just revamped all our lights with LEDs. Um, and we are, our lights are in better shape than they were when, we were, when they were originally built. And our, we are um, looking forward now to getting back to full court facility use and full program use where we can have our USTA leagues, where we can have all our junior tournaments, adult tournaments and be able to act, to utilize all six courts. We'd love to have more courts, but we want to get back to where we can run the programs that we used to run and have run for over 35 years. When this facility is fully functional with all the courts open, how many tournaments does the Sherwood Tennis Center see come through each year? We do, we do from five to seven, and we've had to scale that down to, to five. But leagues take care uh, or take the place of a lot of tournaments because the uh, USTA uh, competitive play has kind of moved more towards leagues. And leagues have the flexibility in people's schedules to not lock them into a weekend. But there's still a lot, awful lot of players that uh, uh, come to a tournament because a tournament's different than a league match. So a tournament is you play once, you win, you move on, you don't win, you either are out or you go into a consolation. Uh, your leagues go through a season. I would say leagues have probably taken over uh, a little bit more the momentum of competitive play, but tournament play and, and uh, tournament events are still a part of the mainstream of tennis.